A scary situation in Osage after a high school girl was found with a kill list naming other students. Good evening and thanks for choosing ABC6. I'm James Wilcox. That kill list was discovered two weeks ago, but we're just now learning about it. ABC6 News reporter John Deckot sat down with the superintendent and joins us with more on how the situation was handled. Yeah, school leaders say it was actually another student who first saw the list and then notified school leaders. The list had roughly 10 names of other students on it, and the school obviously took it very seriously. But after investigation, they said they never felt like there was any real threat to students. Um, truthfully, we didn't feel uh, through the investigation that anyone else was in imminent danger whatsoever. And, um, we're comfortable that um, we have followed the procedures. The Osage Police Department confirmed they were called in to investigate the situation. They said no criminal charges have been filed and don't anticipate any charges, although they couldn't definitively say whether or not the investigation has been closed. Parents were not notified, and while it is a very serious and scary situation, school leaders said this kind of thing actually happens much more often than we'd like to think. There's threats made at every school out there um, every year. Um, so it's not like it's uncommon. I mean, there's a lot of social emotional issues out there with kids and society and you uh, address them and, and like I said, you, you never know. So you have to investigate all of them thoroughly. And School officials are prohibited from releasing too much information about the student, but they did say that she was disciplined and received counseling as part of the normal process for cases like these. She is back in class and staff said they will continue to monitor the situation. Reporting in the Austin Newsroom, John Detcott, ABC6 News.